Hey, Pusina Pusina, a new little video. Uh, this one I wanted to talk about. Um, recently, I uh, kind of redid my shack, uh, Radio Shack, and I wanted to show you a few things that I added and uh, put together. Uh, it's not fully completed yet, but um, uh, so far it, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty fun. <laughs> um, I'm still having a little bit of trouble with some on my antennas. Uh, the problem is that I'm in an apartment and I'm right between like concrete and so I'm having trouble a little bit uh, catching up um, here but I, I think I got a solution there and so hopefully I'll be able to catch up uh, so yeah I'll uh, turn the um, turn the camera away I show you a little tour and then we'll come back and talk about this little bag Okay, so welcome to uh, my little shack. Uh, first time I'm building a shack in my home. Uh, so uh, how it works, um, everything is connected to uh, one point over here. And I got a big battery over here. And we'll show how it's connected. And so I got my power supply here that feeds um, a little... Uh, device that I kind of put together um, so it has uh, everything is powered as I can see I can um, so it shows uh, the voltmeters I got uh, two USB port here uh, 112 uh, volt a uh, little cigarette lighter kind of uh, receptacle and then um, I got a uh, box with Anderson poles, which feeds my um, Icon, uh, I, oh my God, uh, AC, uh, AD, oh, there you go, AD880 um, Hotel. And uh, basically it can do uh, D-Star old radio, it's discontinued now, there's a new thing, but uh, when I bought it, it was like uh, the radio to do like D-Star and stuff. So um, I got this. Uh, I got a little scanner here, which, um, um, I'm going to also plug some our um, SDR, I hope, uh, through a little connector, a little bit, uh, do a better job here. And so basically I'll be able to scan um, regularly or um, just have my uh, SDR uh, scan uh, VHF and VHF. Uh, over here, it's uh, attached to my computer. It's a uh, self-powered USB port, which has like, uh, I think, four or five different USB ports on it and uh, what's flashing right now is a, uh, a GPS and so basically through my computer I'll be able to have time uh, all to, uh, to the, basically the time even if the internet is down uh, and the purpose for this is there's some function like whisper uh, whisper that you can use and so then that way it can be time up pretty well even if the uh, internet is down uh, on this side here, I got the antenna tuner, the signal link, and uh, I was able to repair uh, a long time ago, I think almost like three years now, uh, I bought this radio here at a, um, a, a ham uh, fleet market, and um, they, um, it was working for a while, and then the audio busted, and then finally I was able to find somebody that uh, could repair it. So uh, finally now, I'm able to uh, work it up. Uh, but like I said, I've been having a little bit of issue with the, um, um, the antenna. But uh, what I'm going to be probably plugged in is a NFED antenna, which will go from my uh, outside here to my balcony, uh, kind of in the stealth. And then um, I bought a new um, tough book, Panasonic. Uh, I think it's the CF, yeah, CF29. Um, I'm having a little bit of an issue with it, but uh, I'm having someone coming uh, soon to uh, work on it. And hopefully all the bugs will uh, be bug in, so that way I'll be able to do uh, uh, digital and uh, start working on that. Um, actually, I was able to find on eBay the microphone that goes with those because they, they came without microphone. And also... The uh, signal link uh, does a four-point, uh, four-pin, sorry, uh, connector, 
and so basically I um, I'm able to connect my signal link uh, straight to the radio so um, so yeah that's the new shack uh, it's in my um, work uh, space that I, I used to have and uh, so far everything works like elect uh, from electric point of view like all the the connections are, are going, the electricity goes to all the places. My uh, VHF, UHF works good. Uh, the only thing I still have is my uh, issue with my D-Star. Um, i um, been having trouble to program it and now that I'm playing with Linux, uh, only Chirp could work with this and I'm having trouble with this computer to make it uh, Chirp work. And also it's only a 9 pin that can go uh, to the data connect and I'm having that's one of the issue the computer doesn't seem to be connecting with the um, the D star on that so uh, that's one of the issue I'll, I'll be able to solve and once I have this um, I'll be able to because those radio are hard to program uh, by hand and they're more like better computer and it's been so long I program and I don't uh, recall everything and um, it's kind of miss and match so i want to go back into it and reprogram the way i want it to be more functional uh, but it, it works for now and uh, i'm able to talk on some nets and uh, but i would like to be a little bit more functional and uh, if i'm able to uh, work it up uh, nicely i'll be able to uh, do drats on that and then start to do a little bit more digital ish uh, communication through dstar as well uh, so um, next thing I'll um, show you the little bag I was talking about and uh, what's inside so um, the little bag that I built uh, I just um, uh, with the place that I have now um, all my radios and everything I need a place to put things in and so what I bought is a um, and I'll, I'll show a picture of it um, a garbage can and it kind of um kind of a cheap emp type of uh, do it yourself uh, Far faraday cage um so i'm keeping all my electronics uh, material in there and so what i was thinking was like hey why don't i do a little communication bag that i can keep in there and then um if something happens then they're protected ish and um, they're more protected than if they would be in the open. Let's let's put it that way. And uh, because they're not connected to anything else, they're connected to cer certain EMPs, like lightning strikes and everything. They're connected. They're protected for sure for that one. There's other ones that maybe not. But um, um, and also because everything is together, if I would have to leave early, uh, rapidly, sorry, um, I would be able to grab this. And so in this bag. It's my little communication bag. And so what I got is a uh, Beofang uh, radio. And then I got uh, three extra battery pack uh, with that one. And then I carry uh, two of my um, uh, cheap radios there that you can have communication uh, through them. And so basically now um, I, uh, I can either with the biofang you can technically you're not able but if it's a disaster i would be able to talk to those radios and those radio would be able to talk to each other and um with the batteries uh, it's about one battery per day i, I kind of consider it that way and then the other one as you can see attached to it is the battery pack uh, so i can use double a's uh, for this and also i carry um um the 12 volt battery packs uh, so that means you connect it straight to a 12 volt like a, a car and, and the bat uh, the batteries uh, plays with the radios uh, but because it's a communication bag there's no only radios so the other thing too that I put in there was uh, tape uh, so I can either uh, write because I got a uh, sharpie in there I can either write um, little message on tape like this leave it on the road route or uh, um, make a signal with this or um, so I got some tape I can use if I'm on the move uh, I also uh, if I'm more in the city they're um, chalk uh, pens 
So they look like Sharpies, but basically all this is shock, chalk. So you can write things uh, on um, um, cement or uh, structure that could receive uh, chalks. And then um, I have also a signal mirror uh, in one of the pockets in the front over here. Uh, so that's another way that it can uh, signal. And uh, I can also do um, uh, this, this cable here. Um, I can do like uh, some digital uh, communication through that with the Biofang uh, on certain program and I can uh, program it as well. Um, so yeah, so in a small bag there, there's a lot of, uh, uh, and I'll add a uh, whistle to this and so it'll make a bag and so small, portable, um, it's on, um, on the, uh, in my little um, garbage can which I have like the picture right over here and basically it's covered with a, um, one of those um, windshield solar thing you buy at the dollar store. Um, so the reason there, there's this, first of all, it adds, because it's reflective, it adds some protection. Um, it has some cushioning, so because I have like a lot of radios in there and stuff. Um, and the other thing too is that now it can become an improvised uh, solar oven. Uh, so I got this and the garbage can itself, if a disaster would have happened, I get I get it out, and this is the other per, uh, reason I bought it, is that not only that it becomes a um, a garbage can that I can use it, but if things prolong and I would need to start um, burning uh, some uh, either like uh, uh, first aid material or um, other things so that they because um, they 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 don't. Um, garbage are not being clean then I can transform this uh, can find tons of, of YouTube video on that I uh, can transform the uh, the can into a um, an incinerator of some sort um, and to basically make a fire inside and there and burn the garbage so that's the purpose of the, the garbage can um, has multi-purpose and it keeps all my radios inside there uh, protected as well and so i have the other one uh radio that i'll have too which when i finish i'll, I'll show uh, um, a bag on that and which was my soda bag and so now i have hf as well in there uh portable uh which is what i would use when i go for soda and so i just bought a new um radio and i'll do a separate uh a, a new radio and I'll, I'll do a separate video on that so anyway, I uh, wanted to do a quick video on uh, my new shack and uh, the little communication bag, and I'll talk to you soon.